on the subject of spirit and soul many people confuse the two but they are two separate things if you want to look at it in the terms of a, a real tangible holy trinity or the human holy trinity i should say we are of body and then there is a spirit which is a energetic carbon copy of the physical body and then there's a soul the soul is what gives us the supreme consciousness and no evil doer can trap anyone's soul that sort of things you see in movies is fantasy the soul comes from the creator and goes back to the creator no one can prevent the soul from coming or going but the spirit being essentially a conscious energy carbon copy of you that can linger on the earth plane and that's why you may go to a castle and they'll say oh old king so and so's soul or spirit is seen in that castle by many people you know he's sitting in his favorite chair looking out his the window that he used to look out the most etc etc because your spirit is just the energetic carbon copy of you everything you did and loved in life and knew in life it knows so if you love to go to a particular beach or you love to sit by a certain window in your home that's exactly what it will continue to do because the spirit doesn't go on to heaven or it has nowhere to go it's just an energetic carbon copy but yet you can speak to the spirit and it will be able to talk to you just like the person who it was once part of when they were alive <clears throat> that's something that people don't understand your deceased father's spirit may still be living in his home but your father's soul is not there it doesn't mean that you should not also talk to the spirit and show love and affection for it because it it still has a love and affection for you that it had when it was in your father's body but it is not your father's soul your father's soul is separate and a lot of people have trouble understanding that concept of the difference between spirit soul and body